So in this clip I wanted to show you guys how we can customize our color theme inside of OBS Studio and also how we can install custom themes to OBS from the OBS forms. So if you want to change a color theme you go up to the file menu and you go down to settings and in the general settings you have the ability to choose your color theme. So you simply click on the theme drop down menu and you can select between one of four basic themes which automatically will update so you can see it in the preview. And once you're done, you go ahead and hit apply and OK. So really basic. Let's just go through the other two here. They all look pretty good in my opinion. Um, usually I prefer dark themes, so I'm not likely to use system. Hopefully you guys appreciate that I use dark themes in my tutorials as well. But that's where you can change it. Now if you want to install a theme, then you'll have to go to the OBS forms. So for instance, if you go to obsproject.com slash form slash list slash themes, you'll see that people have contributed a few custom themes that you can install. So when you click on one of the theme pages, the download button is going to be up there in the top right. And then you just need to follow the simple instructions, which is mostly to download the file, extract it with something like 7-zip, and put the files where they belong. In this case, if you do a default install on OBS, it's going to be C Drive, Program Files, OBS Studio, Data, OBS Studio, Themes. So let's go ahead and open that folder now. So with Windows Explorer on my computer, we go to C Drive. Program files if you have a 64-bit version of it installed, or you may find it in x86 if you have 32-bit OBS. Then we go into Program Files, assuming your version is 64-bit. OBS Studio, Data, OBS Studio, and then themes will be right in here. So we can see the themes that already came with OBS by default. So let's go to my desktop and we will extract this misery theme now. So this particular theme comes one with the custom font and one without the custom font. So I'll actually extract both of these to the desktop. For the one with the font, we have to install the font manually. So it's a true type font file. So if you double click on that, you can install it straight to Windows by clicking the install button, just like any other font. And then with the Mixery folder and the QSS file, we need to drag that to the OBS themes directory. So opening up my themes folder over here, I'm just going to copy and paste those in. And then I'll do that one more time with the without font version. So Mixery Lite and the QSS file, we drag that in here. And then with that, we should be good to go. So I'm going to reboot this copy of OBS. And now if we go up to File, Settings, and then Theme, we should see the new themes that we've installed. So there we have Mixery, and you can see the new font there. And also Mixery Lite, which is basically the same, but uses the standard OBS font. So with that, we can go ahead and hit apply and OK. And so that's going to be the gist of how you can not only change your theme inside of OBS, but how you can install custom fonts that other people have created.